Hi, I'm Reverend Lunch Lady. Welcome to my unicorn pasture. I am a love coach helping single women create meaningful, lasting love, the kind of love that you never thought could exist, but it does. And I like to call that unicorn love because really the kind of relationship that I am here to help women call in, attract, create, is one that you probably never had before. And if you have and you don't have it now, you may not think it's possible to create again. So here I am wanting to give you some tips on how you can move in that direction. And if you want personalized support, you can always reach out to me and we can set up a time to chat. But today I wanna to talk about competition and um, comparing because one thing that I know about unicorn love kind of relationships is that really there's no other thing that you can compare it to. There may be like qualities or energies or, or different values you see that are parts of what you want in a relationship, but there's nothing you can compare it to. So on one hand, that's probably really scary because you want to be able to say, okay, I'm going to do one, two, three to get the relationship that I see that my sister has, or that my parents had, or that my friends have, or whatever that sort of relationship on the pedestal is that you're thinking about. And today I really want you to receive the power of you being able to call in a relationship where you and that person get to co-create it together. And there really isn't much you can do ahead of time except for continuously work on your stuff. And I don't mean like it has to be hard or long or painful, but to just be able to really acknowledge yourself and show up for yourself and be that beloved for yourself so that when your person shows up, that love relationship is created between the two of you. It's not that that person is making you something more or that you are fulfilling someone else's needs that together that relationship kind of bubble, I like to think of it as you plus the other person creates this relationship bubble. And it's really listening and responding to what that wants to become. And it's a really different way of being in relationship because we're often thinking, oh, well, this is how you do it, or these are the rules, or, you know, this is how I need to be a woman, and this is the way men always are, or whatever it is that is coming from our life, or the world, or TV, or magazines, those kinds of things. But this is different, I promise you. And that can be maybe scary, but this is really about having a spiritual path to love. So today's message really is to be able to understand a deeper truth here that all relationships, there's an infinite number of relationships that be, can be created in the world. And it starts with you really listening and being in relationship with yourself. So that's number one. And number two is having a willingness to receive all of the, the love and the support and the um, joy in your life so that you get to use that as a way of having sort of breadcrumbs to allowing and receiving the relationship or the beloved person of your dreams. And that definitely takes consciousness. So, so having the right 
consciousness around relationships going to be important and then three what is three just three is once you arrive in that relationship and it it may be a long-term relationship you may have multiple relationships in your life the most important thing is is this fulfilling for you in that moment is this actually elevating your life and and being able to be present with that and be able to create a relationship with the relationship that's there between and with and around you and that beloved so i hope this was helpful if you are interested in having support hand holding in guiding you along the way so that you can be the one who can receive this kind of unicorn relationship please reach out i'd love to have a chat with you you can also go to big happy love com and look at all of the different offers I have on the work with me page because I would love to play with you. So thanks for being here. Bye. Hallelunicorn. Your unicorn is out.